there was something that God showed me uh, in the early hours of this morning. It's a very serious issue, and we need to pray. We need to pray for Nigeria, we need to pray for Africa. Alright? There is a spirit of sexual aversion that has been released. And it's coming strong into the continent of Africa. I was praying towards the end of the year between three or four years. And in the vision, I saw the government of a state. This is a prophecy at that time. And the governor was standing, and I saw some group of people standing in front of him. And where he was standing was like the boundary of the state that he was talking. So he was telling them, go and seek approval from the government before you come here. And this set of people, uh, I don't want to call, I don't want to mention what they call them. But these are, give us a set of people who, uh, who are inverts in their sexuality. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh, the least letters we mention them. Uh, so, it happened to me that they were this thing. I was to pray, based on what the Lord showed me in that vision, there's a spirit of sexual perversion that has been released over the continent of Africa, specifically to target certain nations, and I'll mention the nations for you, to target Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, and Nigeria. And the attack for Nigeria is stronger. And while I was in that vision, I saw somebody that looked like a man, but he was naked. And he was like, he was married to a pillar. No, a pillar. Pillar. So he was supposed to be a man, but his organ was that of a woman. But they got that, that, that's like trans. Uh -huh. And then it happened to be that he was married to that villa. And there was a decree from the kingdom of darkness that to force human beings to believe in this kind of aversion. There's a spirit that has been released over people who believe in that so that men can now conceive and be pregnant. So the man all of a sudden became pregnant. But while I was looking in the spirit, God gave me laser visions, and I saw that what was in his stomach was a spirit, not the child, but it appeared like he was pregnant. So it now became convincing on people that man can marry man and conceive. Are you getting what I'm saying? So I want us to pray. I want us to stand in case because the West will do nothing or will not rest until they pressurize Africa into accepting that. Look at me watch the news. Recently, the vice president of a great country visited Africa and was giving aid to different countries, $100 million aid, financial assistance. But they didn't give to Nigeria. All right? And um, I think there was a problem of some, a president of another country in West Africa who spoke against, you know, the day. So this is, there's a battle going on. They are going to bring more money to tempt our leaders, to tempt our government. It's going to be a pressure to bring it in. And God said, if that spirit enters Africa and prevails, it will corrupt the revival fire that God is rebuilding in Africa. And it may, it may attempt to destroy 
what we are supposed to call the end time revival. Because if Africa misses it, the program of God is that it will happen from Africa. So that spirit has come to corrupt the mantles that will go from here to other nations. So may the Lord give us understanding and I, I call us to pray, all believers everywhere. Even Africans that are in diaspora, I want you to pray. Alright? Our fight is not against any country or any government. Our fight is against that spirit. It is a decree. The Lord showed me our spirit by the Lord to see. It was a decree from the kingdom of darkness. It is released. You've not seen anything yet. Fire blood was the first uh, manufacturing from the kingdom of darkness of that kind of pregnancy. This one is going to be strange. The scan will not show anything, but the person will be pregnant and will show all signs of pregnancy. So a woman will marry a woman and take them. A woman will marry a woman and take them. And the people will now become convinced that L dash 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 is, is good and is real. In fact, Satan will try to push it into the church so much so that ordained people before you think of it. But by the power that is in the name of Jesus, and by the authority of the word of God in Isaiah 8 verse 10, it says, speak the word and it shall not stand. Take counsel and it shall come to naught. We declare that spirit will have no place in Africa. It will have no place in Nigeria. I want you to keep this in mind to pray. But I want you to watch the news. You will soon begin to see. You will begin to see all kinds of bills in parliaments and all of that. You will see these things will begin to resurface. Weeks from now, months from now, it will begin to resurface. And it will be so strong like they want to really penetrate. But I believe that the prayers we offer here and the prayers we will will not allow it to go. Especially in Nigeria. In Jesus' name.